Read all warnings displayed on the Old Faithful Pumper before operation. Do not run your Old Faithful Pumper in temperatures below 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Inspect the supplied high-pressure hose for nicks, cuts, or abrasions. If there are any signs of wear, discard the hose immediately and call Herco to order replacement parts or hoses. Connect the supplied high-pressure hose to the pressure outlet on the front of the Old Faithful Pumper. Insert the safety clip. Determine where you will be making your connection to the water main. Follow the American Water Works Association recommendations or the recommendations of your project engineer or municipality. This connection is critical. Do not leave anything to chance. You must use high quality parts. Be sure they are in new condition and meet or exceed the maximum pressure rating of your pump and have been properly installed. The supplied high pressure hose has a one half inch male iron pipe thread fitting on the end. You will need to build your connection from this fitting. Use a high quality high pressure pipe thread sealer on this fitting. After you have made this connection to the water main, secure the high pressure hose so it will not whip in the event the connection you have made fails. Recheck all connections and fittings. Be sure that all safety clips are securely in place. Now that you have properly made all connections to your water main and have ensured that the water main was properly filled to eliminate trapped air, you are ready to start your test. Follow these steps. Make sure your water source is full. Do not connect to a high pressure water source unless you are using the Herco optional float control reservoir. Any other source will damage the pump and can be dangerous. If you did not purchase a float controlled reservoir with your hydrostatic test pump, you must attach the test pump to another water tank reservoir. Start the test by opening the fire hydrant. Raise the pressure release lever to relieve pressure on the pump when starting the engine. Start engine. Be sure the relief or bleed off valve is in the closed position. Lower the pressure release lever into the lock position on the appropriate number setting. Refer to your AR manual. Slowly open the high pressure valve on the front of the old faithful pumper and allow the pressure to build to the test pressure. Once the desired pressure is achieved, slowly close the high pressure valve. This will isolate the pressure in the water main. Stop and isolate valves when the desired pressure is met. In this video, that is 200 PSI. In this animated scenario, we show that it takes only an hour, but some tests can take much longer. After the required test time is met in this video that is one hour, record the low pressure on the pressure gauge. In this video, that was about 110 PSI. Raise the pressure release lever and turn off the engine. So far, we've established that the desired pressure was 200 PSI and the low pressure was 110 PSI. It's time now to determine the amount of water loss. With the pressure release lever in the raised position, once again, start the engine. Once the engine is running, move the pressure release lever to the required position that was determined at the start of the test. Now slowly open the pressure control valve so that you can run the pressure back up to the determined pressure amount. Once the desired pressure is achieved, slowly close the high pressure valve. This will isolate the pressure in the water main. Now, with a short garden hose connected to the relief valve, Insert the garden hose into a pail or five gallon bucket. Now start to slowly open the relief valve until the pressure drops to the lowest pressure shown in the test. That was 110 PSI in our example and turn the valve off. Now measure the amount of water in the pail. This amount of water is the loss and this information can be used by the engineer or city to determine how to address the situation. For maintenance and storage, always refer to your hydrostatic test pump reference manual. 